Welcome to another week of the Doc's Diagnosis. I'm Travis Justice. He's Dr. Rob <laughs> Zadiska. Huskers did not play this week because they had the bye, so we're going to do something different. We're going to change the diagnosis up a little bit. We're going to look at the top five performers through the midseason for Nebraska, and you've come up with your top five, right? Yeah, this is my top five. Opinion only. Feel free to disagree if you want to throw in the comments. Talk about it on Twitter. I'm always up for it. But like I said, this is just my opinion on what we're looking at here. Okay, number one. We needed a game manager. We needed a guy to not turn the ball over and occasionally make a big play. And that's what he's done. He's done a great job of it. I think it's the obvious one. And by the way, I'm going to also add here, this is not necessarily in any particular order. It's just the five guys that I think have been the major... Uh, these have been the game changers for Nebraska, the stabilizing forces for Nebraska through this first half of the season, and he's the biggest stabilizing force we've got on the team right now. I think you may get some pushback from this one, Anthony Grant. We need a guy who can run the ball, carry the ball, not turn it over, and that, you know, you and I even talked about the fact on that, on that play in the Minnesota game that he fumbled, he still gained six or seven yards. The guy's a really good running back. And I think we got to have somebody who can shoulder the load when it comes to running the ball. And right now, you don't want the quarterback to be that primary ball carrier. And that's kind of what Nebraska's had. I mean, even when you go back when Sims was the starting quarterback, he was your primary ball carrier. We can't have that. We got to have a guy who can step up, carry the load. And I think Grant's a really good running back when he's not turning it when over. When he's not turning it over. How about Ben Scott? And again, this kind of goes back to sort of that stabilizing focus. When you look at the center position, when you look at that offensive line, as much disruption as they've had on the offensive line, the tackle positions, the guys coming back from suspension, the injuries, they needed somebody to come in and stabilize that group at least a little bit. And for a transfer to come in, he's done a great job of it. And he's been probably, in my opinion, the most consistent performer on the offensive line that we've had this year. Now, he, he's not those big explosive blocks you saw out of the center position from a guy like Cam Jurgens, but he's been stable and he's been consistent, and that's what they need right now. Number four, Nash Hutmacher. You know, and this is a guy that I was pretty critical of last year. Um, I don't know if he was getting the coaching he needed to realize his potential last year. I think he's getting it now. I've seen a big uptick in his performance. And again, in that defense, that 3-5 defense, you've got to have some guys that lock things down up front. I think he's done a great job. I think Ty Robinson's been very consistent. Some of the edge guys have been very, have had some big explosive plays especially. But you got to have a guy in the middle chewing up blockers, making some plays, locking down the middle, and Nash has done a very good job of that. Finally, Isaac Gifford. And again, this kind of goes back to the way you work that 3-5-5 defense. Um, and it's basically the nickel guy who's sort of that uh, JoJo Doman type, sort of that hybrid safety linebacker position. And that's a role that Gifford was expected to fill going into the season, and that's a role that he has filled. He's done a great job of it. He's been making a few big plays. But again, it's just been very consistently around the ball, making tackles, breaking up passes. Uh, he's done a good job on the run plays coming up, filling, getting some tackles for loss. That's what you want out of that position. Is he another JoJo Doman? No, but he could be as he continues to get coaching and continues to develop. And he might be one of the more underrated athletes on the team. His speed and strength are off the charts, and I think a little more experience from the guy is going to be a really amazing player. So here's what you need to do. Agree? Disagree with Rob? Leave your comments uh, in the comments section. Also, hit that subscribe button to make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And uh, tomorrow, we're going to take a look at uh, the coaches that are overperforming maybe in this first half of the season and underperforming. We're not going to say hot seat, but just uh, underperforming uh, so far in college football. For Dr. Rob Zadiska, I'm Travis Justice. We'll see you tomorrow on the Doc's Diagnosis, presented by Centris Federal Credit Union.
Ready to embark on a new financial journey? Centris Federal Credit Union is here to help. Centris is your trusted financial partner, focused on what truly matters, giving back to our communities and ensuring their members' experience is top-notch. With 15 convenient locations, Centris's mobile and online banking, instant-issued debit cards, and local expertise, your new financial path is closer than you think. Visit centrisfcu.org, stop by a Centris branch, or give them a call at 402-334-7000 to learn more about how they can help you achieve financial success. Centris Federal Credit Union, federally insured by NCUA and equal housing lender. Your journey to financial freedom starts here. Centris Federal Credit Union, where you and your community come first.